Hey Jonesies, how y'all doing today? I hope you all are doing well. So today I want to come in and talk to you about a streaming service called BritBox TV. And yes, it is a, a, a streaming service that have a lot of British shows on there. But let me just tell you something. Those shows are really good. The BritBox TV um, streaming service is $6.99 a month, right? Okay, if you don't want to pay that, you don't have to right away. They have a seven-day free trial, and that's what we use. We use the free trial to try out different shows to see if we was going to keep it or we was going to um, get rid of it. So, the first show that I want to talk to you about that we loved um, and is not coming back for a second season, though, that's disappointing because it was really good, is called Wild Bill. Now, Wild Bill stars Rob Lowe, okay? He is a high-flying U.S. cop. Um, Bill Hickson arrived in Boston over the, you know, in Britain. It's a Boston over there in Britain. And to shake up the East Lincolnshire Constabulary. But when the coldest of the cold cases turns up, it's Bill who finds himself shaken up. So it was pretty good. It aired, the first episode aired June 12th, 2019. And the final episode aired July 17th, 2019. And it did say here that Wild Bill would not be getting a second season. I don't know why. It was pretty good. Maybe it didn't do too well over there. So, I'm not sure. But he doesn't play. Um, he plays as himself, as an American, over there on the police force, you know, solving cases. Because they can't keep a constable over there for whatever to keep that job. But... He's very stern and he has this attitude about him that makes people don't like him, but he gets the job done. But it was a really great series. Um, so if you want to check that out, if you decide to do the free trial, you can go ahead and check that show out as well. Now, the next show I want to talk to you about is called The Coroner. Now, The Coroner um, stars, um, her name is Claire Goose, and she stars as Jane Kennedy in the crime drama series, which is a... This one got two seasons, okay? Each episode is a different crime, okay? And then at the end, they go to the coroner's court, okay? Which I didn't know they had a coroner's court. So I started watching this show. All right, so it says here, Jane Kennedy in this crime drama series, um, she's a former high-flying solicitor, returns to her hometown to work as a coroner. Her new position requires her to examine mysterious deaths and work alongside the local detective sergeant, Davy Higgins, who who also happens to be, who I think her ex-boyfriend, okay? The coroner juggles the danger and intensity of her cases with the warm relationship she has with her colleagues, family, and community. The lines are blurred, however, when Jane's daughter Beth begins dating Matt, the best friend of a boy whose unexplained death she is investigating. So that was the first episode that I had saw. So that was pretty good. And that's what make me hook in to want to watch the whole seasons. Okay, the first episode date was November 16th, 2015. And the final episode was December 2nd, 2016. Okay, and the network that was on was BBC One. That was an excellent series as well. Like I said, I don't know why they canceled it or why is that coming back. It doesn't say, but it's probably due to ratings or whatever the case may be. But that was a really good show. Okay, so now I am now currently watching the Pembrokeshire Murders. Okay, and what this is about, this is a... um. It's a British three-part television drama miniseries based on the Pembrokeshire murders by Welsh serial killer John Cooper, okay? In, 20, in 2006, newly promoted detective Superintendent Steve Wilkins decided to reopen to solve or reopen two unsolved 1980 murders case linked with the string of burglaries, okay? So the first original release date um of the episode was january 11th to january 13th so it's three episodes like i said it's a mini series also john cooper was talked about on see no evil um the moore's murders and manhunt um 2019 tv series so john cooper's been talked about a lot i am familiar with his story and i'm kind of glad that 
I've also bumped into the Pembrokeshire Murders because it's really good. So those are three shows that are really good so far on this Brit TV um, box. So check it out if you want to. If not, if you do check it out and your time run out and you're still not done, if you got $6.99 to spare, go ahead and do it for an extra month so you can go through and look through all the shows that may be interesting to you. I'm into true crime. I love unsolved mysteries. So that's where the most of my time goes <laughs> when I'm watching that. So our um it's our our um subscription is gonna be up soon for the free trial. So hopefully I can get maybe a, two more shows in before it fully, you know, just you know, just stops. But you know, I might just keep on going with it. It's seven bucks a month. I might just keep going. I'm not sure yet. But if I do, you will see more TV show reviews as well from what I'm watching on there, okay? Now, Netflix, I care a lot. <laughs> Has anyone of you saw that? Let me tell you something. I have never been so happy to get someone offed in my life, okay? Meaning, at the end, I was so happy about the end. What I don't like about the show, I'm not going to say I don't like it. I do like it. But it just has you wondering, is does this stuff really go on today? Does is this stuff really going on with guardianship, with these home places, is assisted living and you know the retirement places? It's like it may it has you thinking. Okay, so it says here she's a shady legal guardian, lands in hot water when she tries to milk a woman who has ties to a powerful gangster. And it's on Netflix, okay? It's on Netflix. It's a pretty good show. I don't want to give too much away about it, but it's, it will have you so pissed off. And then at the end, you'll be like, hooray. But it's like a kind of a love-hate thing. You, you, you're you going to love what happens to her, but it's going to keep continuing. And I would love to find out and do some research if this kind of stuff really goes on with guardianship with these companies. Um so it was interesting it really was and my daughter told me to watch that so i um i enjoyed it and it pissed me off but i did enjoy it all right so that's it guys that's all i have for you right now the recommendations and all that kind of stuff you know i'm not gonna bring in no bs <laughs> but um if you get a chance try brit box tv it may be something you want to watch you know just try it. if you don't like it but like nah i found i don't like it or if you're familiar with it, be like, hey, girl, yeah, I know about that. But anyway, that's all I got. So let me know if you are going to watch or if you even watched some of the shows before. You probably know about this stuff. And I'm probably late just putting it out there, right? All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Have a good one.